How weird is it to play the same team three times in a row? For me, very strange. Um, you know, in England, when you get to the playoffs, it's just the best of two. So, um, yeah, a third uh, game in a row is, is odd, but uh, it's a good experience. And you've already seen him twice during the regular season. How well do you feel like you guys as a team know them, but also how well do you think they know you? Yeah, I think um, it's, it's, it's a bit of chess, really. Um, managers come with different ideas and um, they definitely got the better of us at their place and I think we definitely got the better of them at ours so um, so the third game is is up for uh, grabs and it's just who executes their game plan better really. Taking back six or seven games ago Dean makes a tactical shift says hey I want you to have a little bit more freedom on the right side what was that conversation like with you guys and, and how much more freedom do you feel like you have with that role? I mean, I'm, I'm used to a lot of different roles. Um, I've been in the game a long time, uh, but I, I really enjoy getting forward and helping the attack out. Um, so I'm currently really enjoying how he wants me to play, and I think it just balances it out quite well at the moment with Tim uh, currently playing at left back. It seems like there's a lot of trust with the way that the roles are on the way that the team goes. It took a long time to kind of get that in the season. How much, how does it empower you this late in the year to kind of know that you guys have hit your stride in that sense? Yeah, I mean, as you see, it's, uh, it's, it's the right time to get in form. Um, we really trust the, the system, the way the manager wants us to play, um, and each other really, which is the most important part. So, um, like I said, it's just about getting to Saturday and trying to execute the game plan as well as possible. Whether it's you or Westy or even Tim, some of these other guys have a lot of playoff experience. What does having this experience mean for this team? I mean, you just signed a new contract, everybody's kind of getting themselves re up. What does it mean to kind of have this group together going through this? Yeah, it's important. And I think the balance at the moment that we have throughout the squad um, between experience, young, new talent, um, is great. And I think we're all just trying to help each other and uh, chase the same goal, really. We just heard from the president, Joe Labou, he said that there's upwards of at least 500 that they know of are heading down to Orlando. You guys saw the support in DC, you've seen it in Atlanta, Nashville, everywhere. What will it mean to have their support? Oh, it's everything. I think um, we've heard it all year, the players, the staff, uh, everyone connected with the club saying how important our fans are to us. And um, there, there's, no, there's no better fans in the MLS. So. Um, we, we appreciate it and, and it definitely makes a difference. Um, the, the more numbers, the better. What is the difference? How do you normalize playing in a do or die game versus, you know, your garden variety midweek, whatever, weekend MLS regular season game? It's all about just composure, really. And um, I think the team that keeps their head the most and stays focused um, on, on the, the game plan uh, wins the game at the end of the day. So. Um, you shouldn't hype it up, even though it is hyped up more, you shouldn't hype it up more than um, any regular game. It's just about executing the game plan.